Good morning. Today is Saturday, February 4th, 2023, and it is day number 392 in my fasting journey, and it is day number 35 in my exercise journey. So it's at this point in my introduction that I usually tell you about my weight, but in the month of February, I'm actually not tracking my weight. I gave this gift to myself as a birthday gift. My birthday is in February. And so in February, not only am I not tracking my weight, I'm also not tracking my fasting hours. And so right now I am at the tail end of a fast. These days I am doing OMAD. And um, I have a meal around seven every morning. And then when I finish my food, I fast until the next day around seven. And the exception to this rule is on Fridays. So on Fridays, I have a play date with my three nephews and it coincides with their dinner time. And so for the past several weeks, I've been eating dinner with them on Fridays. And so when I made yesterday's video, I was under the assumption that I would be having a play date with my nephews and eating dinner with them. And um, yesterday, kind of like when I was at work, I was reminded of the fact that my nephews were actually unavailable for a play date yesterday because they were going to a Wizards basketball game with my mom and my stepdad and my brother. And so um, when I found this out, I decided to order myself a meal. And so what I ordered was a cedar plank salmon from California Pizza Kitchen, and that was yesterday's refeed. And I actually ordered myself two um, cedar plank salmon, so that way I could take one home and have it this morning for breakfast. And so I'm going to turn um, the salmon into a salad, which will consist of cucumbers, vine ripened tomato, onions, kalamata olives, and banana peppers. And um, then I will dress the salad with extra virgin olive oil. I use Partana brand and I'll season it with salt and a little bit of pepper and maybe some Bragg seasoning. And so um, you'll notice that lettuce is missing for my salad and that's because usually in the past when I've had salad I would just kind of like eat the you know toppings and never really eat the lettuce so I figure why even bother with the lettuce and so um, after I finish my salad I will take optimal carnivores liver and that will be my refeed for today so in terms of my exercise challenge, the streak continues. I got 20,083 steps in yesterday and I did my beginner Calinetics workout yesterday. So what I wanted to talk about in today's video, so basically have you ever felt like, you know, while you're on your weight loss journey or your fasting journey or your exercise journey, whatever journey it is that you're on, that you've been kind of like in the, the zone and you're doing really well and things are just falling into place. And then like all of a sudden um, you feel like quitting and you're just kind of like completely unmotivated and it just kind of like pops up out of nowhere. And so basically that was the situation for me yesterday. Um, when I woke up, I just did not want to get my steps in yesterday. Um, I was basically ready to quit and ready to throw in the towel. And I was thinking about, you know, what I would say um, for my video for this morning to tell you guys that, you know, basically my streak had ended and I wasn't gonna work on this New Year's resolution anymore. I was just like, so unmotivated and there is nothing that I could do to kind of like feel motivated I'd like get a little bit motivated and think that I'm gonna get my steps in but then you know I was I was ready to quit yesterday and um, I'm driving home yesterday and I see these people running outside in the cold and um, I was just like wow they're really dedicated I really should get my steps in yesterday but when I got home I just kind of like got on the couch and um, I was ready to quit I just wanted to like be done with this exercise challenge but there was just like something that wouldn't let me you know quit there was like this little voice inside my head that was telling me that this is a good thing that I'm ready to quit and throw in the towel and that I should be like really excited and um, so basically when you are um, trying to create a new habit um, when you're trying to create like a neural pathway in your brain to like this new thing um, your brain wants to make sure that this new thing is something that you actually want and so basically it it's kind of like a test when you're ready to quit and throw in the towel. Um, it, your brain is kind of like testing you to see like what you do. And if you quit, then your brain's gonna know that this like new habit that you're trying to create that you really don't want it. And so it'll kind of like pull you back to your old ways. It'll pull you back to, you know, what's comfortable for you. 
But if you kind of like persist through this and do that thing that you are not wanting to do, um, your brain's, it's going to kind of like show your brain that you're serious. You want to create this new habit and it's going to get to work on, you know, that neural pathway in your um, brain. And so basically, you know, I remembered this yesterday and I started to get excited and I realized that I was like on the verge of a breakthrough and I needed to like get my steps in so that way I could, you know, show my brain that I'm serious. I don't want to like live this sedentary lifestyle that I've been living for basically all my life anymore. I want it to be more, I want to be more active. And so reluctantly, I got my steps in yesterday and um, it was a struggle, but I knew that, you know, um, I was on the verge of a breakthrough and I didn't want to, you know, um, you know, um, be pulled back to my old ways. And so basically it's kind of like essentially what's happening. It's kind of like a computer program. Um, basically, if you have a file on your computer and if you've ever said that you wanna delete it, um, sometimes a message will come up asking you if you're sure you wanna delete this. And um, so basically that's kind of like what your brain is trying to do. Um, it's, you're trying to create this new program in your brain to like this new habit. And before your um, brain kind of like deletes that old habit, you wanna make sure that, it wants to make sure that this is what you're actually wanting to do, that you wanna delete this old habit and replace it with this new habit. And so if you've ever felt like, you know, um, ready to quit, um, just, you know, ready to get, just completely give up, you need to persist because basically your breakthrough is right around the corner. And that wanting to like give up is kind of like a sign that, um, you know, that new thing that you're trying to create in your mind is like on the verge of becoming a habit. And you need to kind of like persist and kind of like do what you need to do to kind of like push through and get through this. And so um, anyways, I kind of like wanted to share that with you today. And I'm definitely glad that I got my steps in yesterday because I feel like a lot better today. I'm feeling, you know, like motivated again and inspired and actually excited to, you know, um, continue on with my challenge. And so I just kind of like, if you ever want to quit and give up, just kind of like remember this video. Um, just remember that it's basically your mind wanting to make sure that, um, you really want this new thing and um you know if you like give up and quit then your mind's gonna or your brain's gonna kind of like pull you back to your um you know old ways and you don't want that so um if you ever feel like you're wanting to quit and throw in a towel just kind of like keep going because um what's gonna happen after you um kind of like push through this kind of like time um you're gonna find that this new habit that you are working on creating is gonna it, get easier and easier for you as the days go by until the next thing you know it's going to become second nature for you and um it's going to actually be easier for you to engage in this new habit than it will be for you to go back to your old habit and that happened to me you know with my fasting journey and um you know my diet last year it's actually um easier for me to stay you know on my diet um after i've created this habit and i think it would be harder for me to go back um you know to my old ways and so um anyways you just need to kind of like persist and push through it's not going to be easy um you know when you're creating a new habit i've said this before and i'll continue to say it it's not for the faint of heart but you just kind of like have to persist and push through and i'm um, just kind of like remember that no like journey from start to finish is going to be perfect there's going to be you know um you're going to have like up days and kind of like down days and you just kind of like on those days when you're not um feeling like doing this thing you just need to kind of like push through and persist because just remember your breakthrough is right around the corner and so basically you know um the weight loss journey it's kind of like a mental game and you're creating neural pathways in your brain and you kind of need to, you know, persist and let this happen. So that way it will be easier for you in the future. And, um, you know, that's kind of like what was happening for me yesterday. And so I am definitely glad that I remembered that, you know, I needed to persist and push through because I think I'm basically on the verge of this becoming a habit, the active lifestyle. So anyways, I wanted to share this with you today. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Saturday and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.